All right, we are back at it on dad's cards. And as you can see here, we have a Garbage Pail Kids Chrome Blaster Box. It's Series 4, and of course, these initially came out in the mid to late 80s. I collected them then. I thought it'd be fun to pick up a couple Blaster Boxes and open these obviously years and years later. So we have five packs plus an extra pack in each box. So those math skills come in handy. That's six packs, four cards per pack. So we're looking at 24 cards overall. We're looking for three exclusive atomic, three exclusive atomic refractors inside as well so a little bit more about that on this side and then the goodness on this other side so it's mostly about getting these colored refractors so we'll see if we can uh we'll pull one of those be nice to get an artist autograph or even kind of a fun c name variation because if you're familiar with the garbage pail kids each picture so to speak has two names an a name and a b name so we'll see if we can grab one of those C name variations. Let's get into it. There we go. Our five packs plus a bonus pack. Four cards per pack. Rock E Horror to lead things off. And we've got a refractor right there. Tiffany lamp. So we've got, looks like an atomic back there as well. And if you're familiar with these, they had these kind of fun, gross cartoons on the back um, that were always kind of interesting, at least when you're, you know, 10 or 11 years old. So we get that refractor out there. We've got the Van Triloquist, and as you can see here, Again, this is the B name. Um, not sure you can see, there you go. And then um, the Rocky Horror one, I think. Yeah, that's the A name. So we'll be looking out for the C names. Let's see if we can grab one of those. Old Foxy Francis. Okay, there is our Atomic Refractor from Shorned Sean. And again, more of the same on the back. So that's a nice Nice little pool too. Get into pack number two. Old Bruce Moose. Whispering Woody. We've got the A and B names of Bruce Moose and Hunted Hunter in the same pack. Crystal Gale. I've always liked this one. I don't even know why. I guess it's timely since it's winter right now. All right, pack number three. It'd be nice to pull one of these colored ones somewhere in here. There's Reese's Pieces. There's Mecca Mike. And this one might be, I might have to look this up because uh, these are not numbered the same way some of these other ones are. So I have a feeling this might be something. Same thing with this one. Metal Matt. Let's check that box after we look at Diane Dinah. And then we've got Unzipped Zack as an Atomic Refractor as well. So let's see here. I mean, they weren't, weren't numbered, right? Um, so maybe this is nothing to write home about, but uh, maybe somebody out there who knows a little bit more about this than, than I do can perhaps know a little bit more about why these look a little bit different and have 
the uh, the AN6A and AN5B up there rather than the standard numbers up there. It, it seems to me it's some kind of variation. I would expect the C ones to actually have the C letters. So we're gonna put those off to the side, maybe investigate those in a bit. Let's get into pack number four. Stuffed Steven. There's another silver decapitated. <laughs> Heady. There's Molly and the old Mardi Gras. Back five. another atomic in this uh, see this is what I mean again we have the strange number up top and this is absolutely some kind of variation we've got the tops t-shirt on sapphire Steve um, there's certainly no numbered card indication on the back but uh, something is is different with these and put that over with my other ones that are like that as well, so I can investigate those later on. And here's our last pack. There's another silver. And that is it, my friends. Thanks for watching.